Marhaba. Right now we're going to talk about how to express the idea of the verb to have in Arabic. Uh, in Arabic we don't really have a conjugated verb. We're unlikely to use a conjugated verb to express the idea of having, of possession. Instead we use different particles to which we attach suffixes. And those suffixes are virtually identical to the possessive suffixes of Arabic. If you need a refresher on those before we continue, you might want to go back and watch the video that we have about possessive suffixes and how to use them, but that knowledge will come in very handy as you're trying to express these ideas. Uh, one of the most common ways you're likely to hear possession expressed in Arabic is through the particle ind plus one of those suffixes. Um, so, for example, if I wanted to say, he has a new book, I would take ind, and then I would think, okay, I need the, the huwa, the he, the him possessive suffix, which is ha, and so I'm going to write it as del ha, aindhu, kitab jadid. who he has. If I wanted to say she has a new book, instead of using ha, I would use the hiya particle, the hiya suffix, possessive suffix, ha, and I would wind up with ein the ha, kitab jadid. If I wanted to talk about myself, I have a new book, instead I would use ya, the ana possessive suffix, and I would wind up with ein D. Another particle, oh, it's a, before we continue, it's important to remember that Eind, to express possession in this way, we can only use it for human possessors, right? People possessing things. I wouldn't talk about uh, a city or a building or a dog. We have different ways to express that, which we're going to get to. Another common way you hear possession expressed is through the particle Li, which it has kind of an overlapping meaning with Eind, but we tend to use it for, uh, for one thing, in more formal contexts, and to express abstract relationships, especially familial relationships where the possession is figurative rather than literal, right? We don't carry around our family members in our pockets, but we possess them, we have them in a certain sense. So if I wanted to say, I have one son, for example, Again, I would take li, and then I would need to add the ana possessive suffix, ya, and then I would wind up with li, ibn wahid. If I wanted to say they have one son, the vowel changes a little bit. Instead, we add hum, right? Lahum Ibn Wahid Or if I want to say we have one son Instead I would take that Nahnu suffix Nun Alif And wind up with Lana Ibn Wahid The pronunciation of this Possessor can change a little bit in dialects. For example, in Egyptian, we tend to put some stress on the uh, the first syllable and add kind of an e sound, so it would sound more like Lena. And in Shami, in Levantine dialect, we would actually add a little glottal stop at the beginning, so it would sound more like Elna. But the way we're going to form these possessive constructions is essentially the same from dialect to dialect, right? We're using exactly the same uh, technique, if you will. If we're talking about a place or an institution, again, we can't use Eind because Eind is only for people. So instead, we're going to use Fi plus exactly the same suffixes. For example, if we want to say this this town, this city has beautiful buildings. I might say Head Hill Medina the 
this town. Phi plus that suffix, right? And Medina is feminine. We know that because of the tamarbuta here. So I know that I'm going to need to use the feminine suffix, ha. So I'm going to wind up with phi ha. Binayet Jamila, right? Literally in it or at it. At this city are beautiful buildings, right? But I can't use Eind because a city is not a person. Or if I wanted to say, my house has four rooms, I could say, Baiti, and again, bait, right? It's, we have this yeah of possession, my house, but bait is masculine. It doesn't have a tamarbuta. So I'm going to take fi, and then I'm going to add that masculine third person suffix, ha, and wind up with fi, arba'a, qoraf. In my house, at my house, are four rooms, right? But I can't use Eind, and I'm probably not going to use Li because they're physical things, right?